By selecting the tile pinned to my Team Center home page, I can review the structure of the bolt. Structure levels can easily be expanded and the details of these nodes can be reviewed. By turning on the 3D, I can now look at the accurate device neutral representation of the bolt created when the CAD assembly was checked in. Initially, I will just look at the bow section. Note, to aid performance of these large assemblies, Team Center only renders what's visible until it is required. This is the same for small details that will only show up when you are zoomed in. By selecting components in the graphics, they highlight in the tree. Picking again moves up the structure. Various nodes can be switched on or off using the icons of this, at the side of the selected node. We will now switch on the entire bolt. Again, note that Team Center will only render the components when they are visible. Entering full screen mode, we will now look at some of the other capabilities within Team Center's visualization. We have the option to orient the bolt using standard views. We can select on components in the graphics and move them. These positions, if needed, can be saved back into Team Center or reset at any time. The display can also be changed so selected components stay solid while the rest turn transparent. To understand the design some more, we can interrogate it further by measuring distances either between geometric features such as surfaces and edges or alternatively measuring the distance between parts. More geometric analysis can be formed by requesting information on entire parts or individual surfaces. Sections can be created in the assembly using the coordinate system or on edges and planes. These are easily dragged to whatever view is required. Multiple sections can also be created in the same view and the display and directions of these adjusted. We also have the capability to explode selected components or as shown here, the entire assembly. Finally, for this section, we will find and display all the components within a distance to the one selected. We will now filter the structure of the boat down using various methods such as available attributes, proximity or volumes. This allows us to configure the structure to only view what's required for the session. The first example is to filter the structure on everything that comes within two meters of the selected component. Once filtered, the 3D can be switched on to view the components. We will reset the filter and then this time apply a predefined volume filter. In this case, I will just pick the components that fall inside zone B, upper and lower volumes. You also have the option to dictate which components will show. For example, only components fully inside the volume. Again, switching on the 3D, we can see the mid section of the bolt is filtered. The filter can now be refined further, and in this case, we will pick all the functional groups except the steel work. In this final section, we will look at how we can view the assembly in Team Center's external visualization application to perform more in-depth capabilities such as animations and clearance checks. From the assembly, we just open it up into the Team Center visualization application. This creates a connected session back to Team Center. The windows have been arranged to sit side by side to aid viewing in this video, but this could also be achieved across multiple monitors. Viewing the assembly is controlled by the connected session and any components selected in either window highlight in the other. Other capabilities available in the Team Center Visualizations application can be performed by the user while still connected to Team Center to review details elder if needed.